How's it going? How about time?
stabilized.
get you there. Be ready. Sight is clear. Descent started. Some enterprising starborn lured human mercenaries here. They built this facility. Another layer to get past before we can reach the temple. Expect more starborn along the way.
Temple's artifact is reacting to all the fighting. It might be the only way through. Okay, you. You're up. Time. A dip into the multiverse. We'll have to go through a few more to reach the center. All right. Keep yourself steady. Visitors! Vladek, you didn't tell me we have visitors. We have visitors. Welcome! What's mine is yours. Well, no, it's still mine, but you get what I mean. I'm impressed. How did you... Did you... You don't deserve the final artifact. This life you've led, you're nothing but a thief, an opportunist, a liar. It's more than credits that the Unity will demand of you. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Some help here! God damn it, reload! Temple. 
will be suggesting you. Always. Come on, Rook. Come on. You can make it. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. What the? Crixus ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? Not sure if you're just a reflection of a shattered brain, but... Okay, I get your meaning. Well, ghost from the other side, I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend.
I guess I shouldn't be too surprised you made it this far. Serves me right for not being convincing enough.
Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. I have never discussed that. Oh. Okay. Sorry. I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Do you have a second, friend? So... The unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know... ...can lead to a better place. I do not know if I would say the same. More that I accept it. I'm ready. Do you think we will see each other after the unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? I do too. But the emissary makes me doubtful. They are both the person we lost and... ...someone else entirely. If we do not see each other again, then this is goodbye. I am proud that I was present for this journey. Spend so much time looking at the scans. Like I've, I've thought about it, and I wish to discuss with you. as much as I would love to see the unity the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. Thank you. I know this is probably coming as a surprise. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work. Especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. The artifacts are all gathered. We've done it. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Oh no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor.
You see, that's a bad lesson to teach. Time is money, and an interest on a loan is the incentive to remember that. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, bring light into the darkness of the unknown. Walter, you don't have to answer this, but I was wondering something. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. I'm told Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. Given that the Starborn encounters have so far not included any robots, the safe assumption is that I will need to remain behind if we do not see each other again. Goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. you have all the artifacts we should talk so this is it this armillary can finally be assembled and the starborn are sure that something will happen on the other side something that will make us like them funny i thought after all this time i'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown but i feel like i'm hesitating I know that, and believe me, I feel it. The destiny of it all. But after that, what happens? Say we go to the Unity, become Starborn, enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. I really turned you into a true believer, didn't I? Oh, what have I done? All right, let's get back to it. One more jump into the unknown. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you.
liftoff looks good, all systems work. stable. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. 
Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make? The well's been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be?
Another day? Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? Hmm. Interesting. You want this rock breaker in our organization? After getting lost the first time? But, he still showed up, didn't he? Isn't persistence a signature trait for an explorer? We're at the beginning of a very important discovery here. What you found on Vectera, the artifact, there's more. And they're creating something we don't understand yet. If you're serious about wanting to be a part of this, then you have to know that we are diving headfirst into the unknown. There could be considerable risks. Good. We'll set you up with a room. Take some time to meet everyone. Then, when you're ready, you and I will be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. <laughs> <laughs> 